Hey guys, Gwen Ant here doing some testing for the Hipsters of the Coast Standard Popper event. Just playing a game in the casual room here. And my opponent, playing against my opponent, looks like I won the dice roll and I will indeed go first. Take a look at my opener, six lands and a scroll thief. I'm going to go ahead and mulligan that. Um, this is much better, three land, three spell, perfectly adequate there. Um, let's see if my opponent chooses to mulligan. He did mulligan. I'm happy with this six. Let's see if my opponent's now down to five. He keeps on five. Lead off here with the guild gate so I can play a turn two frostburn. Let's see what my opponent's playing here. Opponent's letting me know he's actually playing on the beta. Something I've considered but just haven't really. Uh, wanted to start using yet. I know the time is coming. I've done a little bit of beta testing on it, so I kind of know what it looks like. Okay, my opponent's playing green. That should be interesting. But at least so far, I haven't really felt the need to uh, dive too deep onto it, onto the beta yet. So we'll go ahead and lead out with a Frostburn Weird. Should be pretty good against green. Of course, he's playing Evolving Wilds. Uh, this could very easily be a, the Hexproof deck, which is definitely a deck that um, this deck struggles with. Okay, red makes it less likely. So here, I can already cast everything that's in my hand. Question is, do I want to pump this once? And the answer is no, because he could easily have Searing Spear. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit for one. He's thinking about something. Not really sure what he could be doing. Obviously not going to play any mana out here. Just hit him for one. Drop the next Guild Gate, and we'll pass the turn back. I do like how they've kind of got the beta running side by side, so he's playing on beta, I'm playing on the regular, it's kind of neat that, I don't know, I'm just glad they're, they're able to run them side by side. Alright, so he's got a Borderland Ranger here, that's fine, helped him draw into more mana, let's see if he's playing some other colors or not. Let's see, he is going to get, I guess I'll see in a second, another forest, so it looks like he's already got all his colors. So that's just fine, um, no need to Searing Spear that since I can... Uh, very easily just pump one mana into it if he chooses to block. So I'll go ahead and attack here with this. Presumably he won't block. Can't imagine that he would. Um, since I'm going to play at the Scroll Thief here, there's no real reason to uh, um, not go ahead and pump this. He's tapped out, so I should be able to get in that extra point of damage. Hit him for two. Drop him down to 17. All right. And we'll go ahead and play out the scroll thief. And pass it back to my opponent. See what he's got here. Could have a burn spell for the scroll thief. Um, if he attacks with a borderland ranger, I think I will go ahead and block. I'm happy to just go ahead and make that trade. That's no big deal. Um, if he doesn't attack with it, that'll also be telling for sure. So my opponent's trying to decide what he's going to do. Hold on just a second. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. All right, so he just played another Borderland Ranger and passed the turn here. Now he can double block on the Scroll Thief. Um, could do a lot of different things here, but basically I can't kill one of the Borderland Rangers. Um, it does have one red for shock, but I've got um, the negate. Ah, I'll draw into a cyclops as well. Um, so here I will just go ahead and attack with the frostburn weird. If he wants to double block, um, I can actually pump and then hit, and I would be fine with that. Basically, getting a. Uh, um, now I guess it'd be a two for two if he shocks him, but I still think I'm okay with that. So let's see what he wants to do here. Assume he's going to double block. Okay, so he's not going to block at all. So I'm going to go ahead and again just pump once, and then we'll play the Cyclops. Drop Cyclops on, and I'm now set up pretty well. Um, nice thing is all of my creatures are immune to shock. And um, basically, um, other than the Scroll Thief, got pretty good protection against Searing Spear as well. So that's definitely nice. 
So let's see what my opponent's going to do here. Goes ahead and plays the mountain that he got. And see what his play is. So, so far for a red-green deck, haven't seen, haven't been very aggressive. Not really sure exactly what he's up to. I'm assuming he's not going to attack here. Um, considering that I can double block if he does attack, I'll probably just let it go. Um, no reason to play into any kind of trick that he's got. So he's, he is going to go ahead and send one. Um, yeah, not going to block that for sure. He could have, There's too many different combat tricks he could have. Um, if I had negate up, that would be one thing, but I don't, so. Let's see what he wants to do. So he uses a Searing Spear on the Cyclops and a Shock as well. Happy to get that two for one. Uh, drawn to a Think Twice, which is nice. Um, I can actually Searing Spear this now, and I'd get the card back immediately, which is pretty good value for me. Um, plus I can leave up Think Twice as well, so I think I am going to go ahead and do that. Go ahead and get rid of the Borderland Ranger. He could have Ranger's Guile here, but he doesn't. So I'll swing in here. Nice thing is the Searing Spear immediately gets replaced, hopefully with something valuable. Another Cyclops is pretty good. Wouldn't mind a land. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hold up both Negate and Think Twice. Assume my opponent here will just swing in for two. Plays a Gruel Guild Gate. All right, no, no big surprises there. Let's see what this is. A deadly recluse. Okay, well, that um, is annoying, but is it certainly not the end of the world. Oh, and he doesn't attack. That's interesting. So we'll go ahead and think twice here. He does leave up Searing Spear or um, Brimstone Volley, lots of different things here. We'll go ahead and just play out the Cyclops and pass the turn back. And then next turn I'll be pretty well set up to get in with Artful Dodge if he doesn't have another removal spell. <coughs> Excuse me. So it's important here not to turn on Brimstone Volley. Um, if he attacks again, I'll probably just let them go simply because I don't want to give him the opportunity to kill Nivik Cyclops without having to pay for it. So he's tapping out for something here. A Rubble Belt mock. I probably had this in his hand. Um, pretty good Blood Rush value. Other nice thing about Blood Rush is there's no way to uh, counter it. It's basically an effect instead of a spell. So he's just going to go ahead and go in with that. Um, now that he doesn't have Brimstone Volley mana, of course he could easily have another one of these. So I think again for two I'm happy to just take it. No reason to, to, to let him to play into Rubble Belt Rhino. Rubble Belt Maka, excuse me. Was there ever a Rubble Belt Rhino? I don't remember. All right, so my opponent doesn't do anything here. Um, so let's see if Artful Dodge resolves. Looks like it does. Can't imagine. I don't think there's anything that can do four. Um, so here we will also go ahead and use Searing Spear on the Deadly Recluse. Simply get that out of the way. And could ta attack with this, but there's no real reason to. So we'll just hit for f seven here. Drop my opponent down to six. And then next turn I'll be able to seal the win unless he's got some way of removing the Cyclops. And I do have an instant dispel here to also help. So let's make sure I don't have my yields on. See what he's able to do here. So it should be in pretty good shape. Have the win on the board unless he's got some way of dealing with the Cyclops. And there's not a lot in green and red that would do it. You know, two burn spells isn't even enough at this point. So no attacks. Anything? Anything? He's thinking about something. Not really worried about anything that he has. Okay, let's see what this is. Uh, Zertos wine. All right, that's fine. 
and it just passes the turn back. So this should be the win here. We'll cast Artful Dodge on Cyclops. And then go ahead and think twice. And that's game. All right, so playing lots of creatures, the Zyrtos Swine is definitely an issue for this deck. Um, so I am going to go ahead and bring in... Oh, I meant to change these out for uh, um, Claustrophobia. I'm kind of disappointed that I forgot to do that. There's still Paralyzing Grasp in here. Because that's definitely not as good. Um, didn't see any flyers out of him. Blue-green isn't... Or I'm sorry, red-green doesn't exactly know him for its flyers. So I'm going to go ahead and take out the Thunderbolts. Um, disperse could be a pretty nice card as well. Let's see if I've got something that I'd like to take out for it. Um, not playing a lot of instant. Oh no, what am I talking about? He's got he's got the red burn spell, so the spell's going to be fine. Um, Essence scatter probably isn't at its best. Um, <clears throat> I definitely see swapping out an essence scatter for a disperse. Although the Essence Scatter is going to be pretty decent, too. Yeah, I think I'm just going to run this back like this. Like I said, definitely should have uh, replaced those Paralyzing Grass with Claustrophobia. I just forgot to do that when I did when I uh, loaded back up Magic Online. Alright, so that's a perfectly keepable hand. Um, unfortunately, it's not actually a turn one Delver, but, you know, you do what you can do. I could potentially draw into an island, I guess, still for the turn one Delver, but... Uh, Turn two Delver just isn't nearly as good, but you know you do what you can do. So I will ob obviously going to go ahead and lead off with the Guildgate here. Um, he didn't see much in the way of flyers out of me, so he might not have brought in any any hate. Okay, so he is a pretty aggressive deck here. Um, I am going to go ahead here. Let's see if I could Searing Spear now, and that would be a more efficient use of my mana. Saves me three damage. Next turn I'll have three mana which um, isn't going to do a whole lot there either, but I'm just going to take a ton of damage off that thing if I don't kill it. So, unfortunately, I think I am just going to go ahead and kill it now. Do it while he's untapped. Just <clears throat> to prevent any... Or, um, excuse me, do it while he's tapped just to prevent any shenanigans. Let's see what he's got here. He's got a Slaughterhorn. So, yeah, he's definitely playing this Blood Rush kind of theme. Um, so here, so this works out really well because now I can drop the Delver and then go ahead and get rid of the, the Slaughterhorn as well. Just trying to prevent the damage here as much as possible. Wouldn't mind one more land, um, but of course I also wouldn't mind flipping the Delver this time. So he probably will just kill the Delver here, would be my guess. But I could be wrong about that. No, no, Trusted Force Mage, okay. Let's see if I'm able to flip Delver here. Got a decent chance. Oh, yes, I will definitely reveal that card. So like I said, a land would be nice, but hitting with the in the Insect is also quite good. So, could play Scroll Thief here, but I almost feel like I'd rather just hold up my mana. I've got so many different things I could do with it. Um, protecting the Delver would certainly be ideal here. And then could also Searing Spear end of turn if I need to. Well, let's see what he wants to do here. I'm happy to just take two from the Force Mage. That's no big deal. Even if he has a Zertaw guy, I'm really just not that worried about the two damage. So let's see what he wants to do here. He's not going to do anything. Okay, well, I don't necessarily need to do anything either then. So we will hit for three. Let's see if my opponent is going to go ahead and use a burn spell now. I suspect that's what's coming. Um, I don't really have anything I can cast for two. I mean, I have the Searing Spear, but I definitely want to hold on to that. Um, so unfortunately, I'm just going to go ahead and use Dispel here. And hit for three. Would have been nice if I could have played the Cyclops, but next turn. Um, so here now, if he plays another creature, I'll be able to Searing Spear. Um, no real reason to do that yet. Happy to take two here, unless he's got a trick. But I can't imagine he does. He does not. He just again passes the turn back drawing. Now that island is definitely nice. Of course, I'm going to have the same problem this time. If I, um, he kills it, I go for negate. I still can't cast the Cyclops. So kind of back in the same spot again. So this time he doesn't have it. I'm going to go ahead and assume that he 
doesn't have it and go ahead and run out this Cyclops. Because that's really going to just destroy him in a hurry here. Um, even if he now kills the Aberration, it's done enough work that um, next turn I'll be able to Artful Dodge and Artful Dodge twice in Searing Spear, and that would actually kill him. So let's see what he's able to do here. It's obviously no way in the world that I'm blocking that. Could have Zertos Wine, could have a lot of things. So let's see what he's able to do. It'll take two burn spells to kill this, um, which certainly is a possibility here. Um, double red could be a Searing Spear plus a Brimstone Volley <coughs> would certainly do it, or Shock plus a Searing Spear. Those are all live possibilities. Unfortunately, I don't have a negate to prevent it. Um, let's see what he's going to do. He's thinking about something. He's going to do, not going to do anything. Okay, well, I don't know if that was a good choice for him or not. I am going to just go ahead and use Artful Dodge on this. Um, now he could use, now if he had the double spells, it wouldn't matter because I have Negate up. Um, and in this case, um, I'll do 7 to him. And the question is, do I want to go ahead and do that now? And I don't think I do. I want to protect the Cyclops in case he tries for a 2 for 1 here. So I will just hold up Negate for the moment. So he's going to Brimstone Volley that. I think I will now go ahead and just negate that, because that also pumps up the Cyclops. So now he's got to have another Burn spell here, and if he doesn't, uh, that drops him to 10, or I'm sorry, drops him to 1, and I can pass the turn back and have Burn in hand. So unless he's got some kind of... Uh, he could play a Gate and then also play the Life Gainer, you could also have a, a boar. I think those are the only real normal plays that, that he could come out of this winning. A boar is not very common um, in sideboards right now, so I'm not expecting that. So let's see if my opponent has any answers. He does not. And looks like this is going to be a win. Yep, that's a win. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching. In closing, let me remind you, you can keep up with all my writings and articles by following me on Twitter at the username Gwyned42, that's G-W-Y-N-E-D, and the number 42. I also regularly publish articles over at puremtgo.com. Search for me by the username Gwyned on that site, or find the link in the description of this video. I also maintain a blog now at writeradept.blogspot.com, and you can also find that in the description. Finally, if you enjoyed these videos, please remember to subscribe to my channel and post any feedback or comments. Thanks for watching.